everybody, my name is Just Reaper, and welcome back to the Minecraft Cold War tank tutorial. Today we are doing the M48 Patton American Main Battle Tank. I personally feel pretty faithful in this design, that I feel faithful that it turned out to be quite well. It took a lot of designing to get the turret to the right shape, but after a lot of struggle and a couple of hours of redesigning it, I finally managed to get it to a shape I was quite content with. And uh, yeah, there's also an interior inside of it, quite a um, detailed interior. Not a very uh, maneuverable interior, so uh, I have to work with that, but um, it's, a, it's a good enough interior. So um, here's just a little bit of info that I took down in the patent. Feel free to pause the video just to read that on your own. But um, yeah, that's the patent. So without any further hold up, let's get right to the tutorial. Alright, so for the layer, we're going to want to start off by having oak wood logs, st uh, spruce wood stairs, stone brick stairs, stone brick slab, stone button, dark oak wood fence gate, uh, oak wood slab, and an iron trap door. I've already started by placing down the left side tracks with the sideways facing log wheels, as I normally do. So you're going to have two side by side, and we're going to do stairs behind it like this. And we're going to do our oh so familiar uh, wheel design using stairs. We're going to do our logs yet again, and more stairs, do it again, then more stairs, then we're going to do singular stairs like this to make the smaller wheel at the back of the tracks, then we're going to do our uh, stone brick stairs like this, and then pops out the stone brick behind those, come to the front of the tracks, I'm going to kind of mirror that same way. Now I'm just going to use a little bit of world edit to copy that. So you're going to want to have the same track design with a space of three on the in, uh, in between them and that should make your tracks. Then we're going to put our stone buttons on the outsides of the logs like this. like that, then we're going to take our oak wood slabs, we're going to put one right there, and we're going to run it from there all the way to the back, to right here, then we're going to do a iron trap door here, 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 and here, now right there, one here, 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 and here, once we've done that, we can take our oak wood, dark oak wood fence gate, put one here, open that inward to the tank, then one here and here at the front, open those inward, and with that, you are done with layer one. So now that we're done with layer one, let's move on to layer two. Moving on to layer two, we're gonna take our stone brick stairs, put two here, put two here, take our oak wood stairs, Put one here in the center, curve it left and right, like this. We're going to take our oak wood logs, do two sideways here, and do two sideways here. Break these, we don't need these here. We're going to take our stone brick slabs, and we're just going to run them all the way from the front to about here, on the outside, uh, on the outside layers of the tracks all the way to the back right here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our spruce wood stairs. We're going to do an upside down stair here. Reverse one right here. Same goes for here and here. And then one right here. We're going to put that onto the other side as well. Once you've done that you can just fill the upper portions with your stone brick slabs, just like that, and that will complete your tracks for the most part. Then we're just going to grab our chisel stone bricks, two here, two here, stone brick stairs, two here, two here, stone button here and here, same on the other side here and here. Bring back over, we're going to take our oak wood stairs, one here, one here, then curve it into the center, 
then what we're gonna do is what I can tell. Alright, we have the water. So we're just going to take our oak wood planks. We're just going to kind of fill up the whole inside of the vehicle. So just fill it from front all the way to the back, fill up the whole inside of the vehicle. Then we're just going to go into our inventory, grab a sign, put a blank sign right on the back on the center of the vehicle. And with that, I think we're done with layer one. So now that we're done with layer one, let's move, actually wait a minute. Okay, okay, so some things are going to have to be edited once we do the interior, but for now, we're done with layer one. So now that we're done with layer one, let's move on to layer two. Okay, I think I may have missaid the end of that one. I meant to say moving from layer two onto layer three. I think I may have said moving from layer one onto layer two. Nonetheless, let's continue. So, moving on, we're going to take our brown carpet, do two brown carpet here. Break that, come on. Then go to the rear of the tracks, do two here as well. Then we're going to take our daylight sensors. We do three here, one here, one here, two here, two here. We're gonna do two here, one here. Um one here, one here, then two here. That should be all the daylight sensors we need for the lair itself. Then what we're going to do is we're going to continue by taking our stone slab and our spruce wood slab and our sandstone slab. So we'll start by doing the left side. So we're going to do spruce slab here, two sandstone, two spruce, one stone. Other side, one stone, two spruce, one stone, two spruce. Jump to the rear of the vehicle, we're going to do, I need to grab, oh, I'll just run over here and I'll grab it. We're going to need nether brick slabs and oak wood slabs. Do three nether brick here, five oak here, uh, one oak here, one here. We're going to take our stone brick stairs, do one here, one here, then curve it, go forward two. That's how far we go. Yes. We're going to need that. Okay. So we're going to grab a oak wood plank, do one there. We're going to need blocks of nether brick in the center there. Do nether brick here, nether brick here. Just trying to make sure I'm doing everything correct. How did I accomplish that? Huh? Oh, okay. Alright, I just, I, I kind of lost it there. I completely forgot. Because that's a curved stair, and I completely forgot how I actually did that. Okay, so we're going to put a, a stair here and here. So it's going to curve right there. And we're going to grab our oak wood slab, put one here and one here. Grab a oak wood. What do we even need? Okay. So we're going to do a stair here, 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 and here. Put a plank here, here, and here. We're going to do our stairs here and here, with a plank on the center. And you can kind of fill up the rest of the front with your oak wood planks. Except for these two spaces. These two spaces are actually going to be wooden trap doors. So let me grab those. Put a wooden trapdoor here, 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 and here. Make sure those are closed. It's just the daylight sensors messing with the trapdoors. One there, close it. Put one there, close it. What we're going to do now is we're going to take our signs because since the patents had relatively large front lights, we're just going to use these to kind of replicate it as best we can. So we're just going to put a blank sign on the front of that trapdoor and a blank sign on that trapdoor. Close those so we don't need them open. And for the time being, I guess we can fill up the inside of the turret ring because we really have nothing better to do. So, there you go. 
So that's layer three done. So now that we're done with layer three, let us move on to layer four. Moving on to layer four, we're going to take our oak wood stairs, put a stair here, and a stair here. At least that's what I think we're supposed to be doing. Yes, okay, do that. I'm gonna grab some brown concrete powder, a dispenser, and our button. I'm going to put a dispenser right here with a brown concrete powder on either side to kind of replicate the cloth-ish material that they would put over the front of the um, gun mantlet. We're going to put a button right there to kind of simulate the spot where the coaxial machine gun would be, mount would be mounted. We're going to take our spruce wood slab, put one there, Grab our daylight sensors. We're going to do how many? Four. One, two, three, four. Off the front. Grab our oak wood slabs. Do a slab here. Do the second one. We're going to grab our daylight sensors. Put one more there. Then one more oak wood slab at the end. Under the two center slabs, though, we're going to do a wooden trap door underneath each. And with that, you have your 105 millimeter done. Then we're going to take our oak wood planks, do two here, two here, and I guess we can just kind of fill up the inside of the turret while we're at that. Um, okay, so we'll go back with another row of five. Just making sure I'm doing everything correct. We're going to do our oak wood stairs, we'll do a stair here, not on the other side, then run a row of five planks on the center. I'm going to need a brown terracotta, trap doors, and dragon heads. Dragon heads for decoration purposes. We're going to put our brown terracotta right here, a dragon head facing right there, one here, here, here. Actually, never mind, I take that one back. Hold on. The one in the center. A placeholder has to be placed on a block behind it so that it's elevated uh, above the other two. Next, we're just going to take our dragon heads, do a diagonal one here, and then another one right there, kind of facing diagonally inward to each other. Those are just to kind of repli replicate, um, like containers or whatever being carried on the turret. We're going to take our wooden trap doors, do two here, close those, go to the other side, replicate that. The exact same thing on the gun mantlet. We're going to do a wooden trapdoor on the other on either side of it and just close them. And with that, we are done with layer four. So now that we're done with layer four, we're just going to move on to our final layers of five and six. So let's get this moving. All right, now moving on to our final layers, we're just going to take our spruce wood slabs. We're gonna place one on the top of the dispenser here. On the others, on either side of it, do a wooden trap door like that. Then we're going to take a oak wood slab, put a slab there and there. We're going to take a oak wood there, put one there. Um, we're gonna do planks, do a row of three here, then another row. We're gonna take our oak wood stairs, put one here and one here. Actually, no, wait a minute. Okay, so it's just only one side, not this side. So break that one. I'm gonna do a stair in the middle here with a curved stair on the side. I'm gonna grab a spruce wood stair and put one right there. This block should actually be a spruce slab. We're just gonna do a top slab for now because it'll be less cumbersome when doing the interior. Um, trying to see what else I need to be doing here. Alright, so on top of the uh, the terracotta from the last layer, we're just going to put a spruce uh, slab on top of that. Grab our daylight sensors, put one here, here, and here, one uh, in these two uh, positions. Put an oak wood slab in between them. Grab our iron bars, stack up to here, not there, and right here go up to, those are going to be our, antenna, our radio antennas going to go and grab some stone slabs and put a slab right there. We're going to need a end rod to go off the front of that to represent our commander's hatch. We grab our oak wood slab, put a slab here and here. And 
actually just one more right behind that. And with that, we are done the M48 patent um, whole exterior, whole visual build. Now, if you're not saying for the interior, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you enjoy the patent. Um, there's going to be more tutorials coming soon because I have a lot to catch up on because it's been a while since I've been doing anything. I'll explain more of that at the end of the video. But um, without any further hold up, let's get right to the interior. Alright, so now moving on to the interior. What I'm going to start by doing is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to punch that out so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to do apparently, I'd like to machine I'm going down to the floor. Except for there. Alright, so punch this, go down to the floor, so that would be right there. Across, inward, we're gonna go up till we can see the front there, <clears throat> the mantlet. Break out these two blocks, break out these, these. Come back, we're going to need quite a bit here, we actually need that. Just do all the way forward. jump back in here. I want to work from the front back. So we're going to break out that row as well. That is going to be a row of cobblestone walls. Correct. Let me just go check one more time. This is not particularly easy to do. You know what? I'm just going to break down for a minute. No. No, okay. So from underneath the mantlet is going to go forward two. So let me make sure I'm doing that correctly. Underneath the mantlet, right there. One, two. We're going to break those. So we're going to need our dispensers. Our dispenser here and here, here and here. We're going to need a slab here and a slab here going to be a oak, dark oak fence gate here, open that inward, at least I believe I'm doing this correctly. Okay, that's actually spruce, so we're going to grab that. So heading back to this, we're going to break out the block above the fence gate that a top slab, replace that fence gate with a spruce fence gate and open that inward. Behind that we're going to do another brick of stair, we're going to put a dispenser here, then a dispenser here, and then one on top of that. Oh. Has to be facing upward, darn it. Anyway, I can do this. Alright, now I'm going to do this the hard way. So we're going to break at the top of the turret. That the hard way. Fix that. Um, now, once we have, I actually have to break that out one more time. We're going to do a dragon head. Come on. Place one right there. And then we can replace the block. I, I give my credit to making this interior to the War Thunder uh, model, which I use to build this. So it's quite um, simple. I didn't put anything behind that tonight, no, it's just that. Okay. So heading back into this tank, I'm going to break out these blocks. Like these, no, it was these. Not going to fix that problem. Do that. Do that. Two dispensers here. Note block here. We're going to get our dispensers put to here. Oakwood plank there. Uh, okay. This is just a little bit 
difficult because it's been a while since I actually built this a couple months ago. So it's been a while. So we're going to put a stone slab there. Grab a anvil. I'm going to put that facing sideways on the gunner's position right there. We're going to put a nether brick slab there. Nether brick slab will go here. We're actually going to break out the top of the turret in the spots that we can. We're going to replace it with top slabs of oak wood. So that's basically the whole top of the turret. That will give us a little bit extra room on the inside. We're going to need iron trapdoors. There's going to be one that goes here that I know of. I think here. We're going, to, we're going to replace that block there. Grab our wooden trap doors. Close those. Put two here. While I'm here, I'll fix that problem anyway. Okay, so it's going to be a trap door. It goes like that. Going to sign off of that, and then we'll be done. Okay, so final steps. Gonna head back into here. Going to put a trap door right here, open it that way. That's going to be like the guard from the gunner, like the, the gunner's guard from the gun breach. And then we're going to put this sign right here, just for that extra, the extra side of the gun breach. And with that, we are done, I think. We'll just check underneath this. Yeah, okay, so that's, there's nothing there. So with that, we're done with the M48 pattern. I'll we'll just seal up the inside of this, and there we go. There's your M48 pattern with its interior as well. So, though the interior took a while to put together, I hope you all enjoyed it though. Um, it's It's been a while since I've been uploading. There's been a lot going on recently, and it's just been hard for me to actually get anything up. I go through these times quite frequently here on the channel where I will just not upload anything, but yet, somehow, you guys manage to stay loyal and keep on coming back to see the videos, and that makes me happy that even though I don't completely stay fluent with my uploads, I always have people come back and welcome me back. So I have a lot of <laughs> tanks sitting over in my warehouse behind me that you can barely see just outside my render distance. I still have quite a few things sitting in there that I have to get done, and I'm going to try to get as much recording done today as I possibly can. So, I'm going to start wrapping this up here. I hope you all enjoyed the tutorial. Um, I have a couple of links. I have a link to my Twitter, uh, my, dis my uh, YouTube channel, Discord server. And uh, yeah, feel free, to join the feel free to join me on Discord or follow me on, on Twitter, uh, where you'll always be notified about my uploads or simply if you are subscribed make sure you hit the bell so that you can be uh, notified but that's just you know I would like I like to make sure everyone gets their chance to witness the tanks as frequently as they can so enough of me rambling I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all next time goodbye